Yo, what's up guys? Left Burst here, and today we're going to be playing more of the Beyblade Burst Battle Zero Switch Trick game. And I know last episode I said that I wasn't going to do any more gameplay and we we're going to stick to the anime battles, but then I encountered this majestic beast, Shu Kern, I was friggin' Requiem, and I kind of just had to make a video. I was like, this is too great not to make a video. Like, when I saw him, it was just compelling me to make a video. I was like, this is gonna be a great video. You love Shu, let's just do it. Oh my gosh, look at you. I love Shu, but like, no homo. <laughs> anyway, look at you right there. I also like how he has like four rings on his fingers. Like, what practical use does that have besides looking cool? Anyway, so yeah, we are going to be battling Shu Kurenai in this video today and look at this combo right there spriggan requiem zero zeta oh my gosh look at this friggin requiem layer the zero just gonna drive it's gonna be crazy i can't wait let's totally crush this guy actually i'm probably gonna lose because i grinded this game i played like 10 hours plus but that doesn't mean i'm good at this game i kind of suck at this game anyway so yeah as i said in my other video this is my beyblade combo spriggan requiem it's gonna be spriggan versus spriggan it's gonna be hype it's gonna be great so my beyblade combo is spriggan requiem eight dash flow unite and i am just in love with this combo guys not because it performs well i'm sure there's other uh combos in the game that probably perform a lot better than this one but just because i just think it looks so great it looks so great like it comes with the eight dash disc the eight dash amazing disc i really like the way it looks the flow frame i just think the flow frame goes so well with friggin red grim's god chip it looks great and finally we have the unite driver kind of a mar maroon royal red kind of uh driver color and it just looks so well with friggin in general and the white rubber tip it goes with friggin requiem's rubber on it and also i really like how you can move around the beyblade in this game it just looks so great like it feels like you have so much control like look friggin's like dancing and moving around or whatever it's great anyways yeah let's get this battle start let's totally destroy shu kurenai actually we're probably gonna get destroyed by shu kurenai because shu kurenai he's just he's just a god he's amazing he's like the best character in the anime he's so great he's so great anyway let's move him should we just go on top of shu kurenai for the lulz i mean we'd probably lose if we do that but like for the lulz guys actually no let's start let's start over here should we mm, should we go should we try to go for a burst first round or should we play it safe and go in the middle and try to win in a spin finish you know what i'm all about those risky tactics so we're gonna we're gonna go for an attack launch this time all right ready three two one go shoot as you see, I'm not that good at the game. I can never get- Oh my gosh, look at Shu! Oh, he looks so good! What the heck happened there? Also, I figured out, I was being stupid a few episodes ago. Like, when I first started playing, I didn't know you could do this. Oh, but look at him, he's so great! He is so great! Look at this combo. But you can actually assign special moves to, like, the A, X, Y, and B button. So, like, I have a move right here. This is my attack special move right there. You didn't see it, but here's my other attack special move. And when I press the Y button, and it charges up, that's my stamina the move and x is my defense move so you can like assign moves for it. i didn't know you could do that i was being stupid looks like whoa we didn't lose the first round i'm usually really bad at this game usually i lose the first round especially against someone like shu kur and i they shouldn't need shu like extremely op in this game like you can't even beat him if it was anime accurate she would just like come up to you the slightest touch of spriggan requiem touching your beyblade and just explosion no you know what if it was anime accurate spriggan requiem would come towards your beyblade she launches spriggan requiem it comes towards your beyblade the second it touches your beyblade your beyblades your your brave brain your beyblade just snaps in half that would be anime accurate oh whoa we're running out of time because she literally like destroys everyone's beyblades all right, we're gonna go attack mode again. We're gonna try to burst Shu this time. Try to, be, like, totally launch. Totally, like, kick his butt. Like, destroy him with a burst finish. Oh my gosh, what the heck is going? What is he doing? What is, what's happening with this Beyblade? Is he in attack mode? Is that what it looks like when he uses Zed? It was, like, jumping around and stuff. Oh my god. I don't know what it is about Shu, but, like, his model in this game, it just looks so great. Whenever it shows up, I just go crazy. It looks so awesome. All right, we're going to use our special move. We're going to use our attack special move. Try to beat him in a burst finish. Come on, attack me. Attack me. Come on, let's hit each other so I can beat you in a burst finish or something. All right, come on, come on, come on. Looks like we're not going to do that. All right, all right. I love how it's just like two... This is how every Beyblade battle should go, guys. Just two Spriggans in the middle. It looks great. All right, I'm going to use... 
I'm gonna try to use. Oh my gosh! I, what is it? Oh my, that looks so great. You guys just see me fanboy, but it just looks so great. His model in this game looks amazing. I love how like I know how like all the enemies have like the purplish or like the hot pink like glow around them, but just the hot pink glow around you, it just looks so great. It looks amazing. Looks like we crushed his combo. He should probably change modes or whatever. I think he was going like attack mode the last two rounds. Attack mode is just not the way to go to. If you guys, if you know you're Spurkin, you should always go defense mode. That's the best mode for Spurkin, at least in my opinion, because like attack mode, attack mode sucks. It's like a quake driver, not that good. De uh, stamina mode is like a fusion tip. No one likes fusion. And defense mode, I mean, it's like a massive driver tip. But, I mean, no one likes Massive, but no one really, like, hates Massive. It's not a bad tip, but it's not a good tip. Oh my gosh, there is Oh, he looks so cool. <laughs> he looks so great. I don't know. Again, it's literally, like, he just has to show up on screen, and I'm happy. I'm just going crazy. I'm like, oh my gosh, this looks epic. It's you, Kurana. He's amazing. Although, I do... I love the character designs in this game. They just look so awesome. I I especially love the main character uh, character designs, too. Like, our, at least our main character. I, know, I don't know how I feel about the other scrub main characters but our main character that we chose he is great especially with this like jacket that's way too big for him i just love it it's amazing all right doesn't look like we're gonna beat him in a oh my gosh there's shoe literally every single time she appears on screen i am just speechless like all the attention just goes to shoe like look at you he's amazing oh my god just crazy all right are we gonna burst him this round can can we get a oh it's shoe again i'm like mid conversation but i just see shoe Kerr and i I just go crazy. Shu Kurana, he's great. He's an awesome design. He was amazing in the anime. Is is Shu even human? I know that's weird to say, but wasn't he possessed by his Beyblade in the God series? Doesn't that make him like half Beyblade or something? He was just about to burst. Do you see that burst meter? We were about to burst him, but it looks like he got away this time. We won three times in spin finishes. In this game, spin finishes are probably the most common way to win. It's probably like spin finish, burst, and then stadium outs. It's act for me at least. At least this combo. I don't know about like other combos, but it's extremely rare to get uh Stadium mounts. I've got. Whoa! Look how many Beyblade points I have. I didn't even know I had that many points. I have like over. <laughs> I have like over 100k Beyblade points. Wow! As you guys can see, I've been grinding this game. So, oh my gosh, that's crazy. I have so many Beyblade points. I might do a video on that in the future. Maybe just like spending all my Beyblade points on just Gachapons. 100k points on Gachapons. If you guys want to see that, leave a like, leave a comment. Might do that in the future. Pretty hype video. I'm excited for that. Anyway, see ya. Looks like all our stuff levels up. Um, should we just keep- I mean, this video is supposed- Oh, it's Boa! Oh my gosh! Boa, Noah, we got similar names. Boa, <laughs> all right. Anyway, should, oh my gosh. I was just gonna end the video here, I thought. I, I Honestly, I was only gonna do the video because I really want to just record and have a video on my channel of me battling Shu in the Beyblade Burst app. But should we just continue the video? I kind of want to verse Boa on, on video too. All right, you know what? We're gonna verse Boa just for the lols. Let's go. Let's destroy this Boa kid. Boa in the anime, guys. He is great. I really... <sighs> I just wish he had a bigger role in the anime. He has an amazing character design. His Beyblade has an amazing design. I just wish that uh, Takara Tomi, when they made him, uh, when they put him in the anime, they gave him more justice because his character design is amazing. His Beyblade design is so great. Oh my gosh. I mean, look at Art Bahamu. It's one of the best looking Beyblades in my opinion. You can't go... Its color scheme is amazing too. You can't go wrong with its color scheme. It's so great. It's so awesome. Takara Tomi did not do it justice when putting it in the anime. I mean, it was, it was decent, but it's only arc that it really shined in was uh, the last arc, the like tournament arc, the natural... Oh my gosh, look at him with his green aura. It just looks so awesome. But yeah, the only arc that he really shined in was the tournament arc. And even in the tournament arc, I think he lost to... He lost to Shu. And I think he lost to Vault too, which it was kind of sad. I think the only person he beat was Norman, which is kind of disappointing. Anyway, so yeah, we totally destroyed Boa. I'm sorry, Boa. You're an amazing character. I love your Beyblade. The Beyblade design is amazing. Again, you can't go wrong with that color scheme. That color scheme is so great. Just having like a black, red, and purple Beyblade that gives off a green aura. Oh my gosh, it doesn't get better than that. I mean, of course, Shu's color scheme is great. I really like the color scheme of just like red, um, 
red, white, and black. That's a really good color scheme too. But probably the second best color scheme has to be like has it has to be something like black and purple. Black and purple color scheme is amazing. I love it. There is Bowler right there. Look at him. The artwork in this game. Again, like I said about Chu, the artwork in this game is amazing. I'm in love with it. Again, I don't really like the story mode in this game because there isn't really a story mode. But I love the like attention to detail they did. Like they have like artwork for every single character in this game. Like new artwork. It's amazing. And they have every single one of the character special moves like the god base They all have their god abilities the chosy base. They all have their chosy ab abilities the um Dual layer base, they don't have their own abilities, but uh, the god layers, <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that, but yeah, the god layers and the Chozy base, they all have their own abilities in the game, and it's just so awesome to watch. And oh my gosh, just the way the characters like have aura just spewing out of them, it just looks so great. Did, did you see that Ark Bahamu artwork? And I mean, not artwork, the Ark Bahamu digital design or like Ark Bahamu in the game, it just looks crazy. The digital model, it looks so great, and I love how you can customize the baby. Like, it's like, it's like you're actually playing, I mean, there's no story mode to it, but it's like you're actually playing Beyblade, but in the anime. It's great. I love it. If there was a story mode to it, this game would be like a 10 out of 10. It would be amazing. I really wish instead of just doing these battles, they had like a true story mode where you can like walk around and you have to like, like, let's say like you uh, start in Japan and you do the dual layer series and then God layer series starts and then you travel across the world and based on like where you travel, you like versus different teams or whatever and then they get harder and harder and like let's say you you go to Brazil first because that's where Vault went first you go to Brazil first and you battle BC Soul and shoot and free is just like level 100 blade you can't beat him and you have to like travel around the world to try to beat him and that would just be crazy an amazing story mode for this game like imagine a Pokemon like story mode and babe in a Beyblade game that would be so amazing like or an open world babe actually an open world Beyblade game that's like I'm not gonna lie, that's way too much work for a Beyblade game. I don't expect Takara Tomi to ever do like an open world Beyblade game. That's well, oh wait, we already beat him. Wow, Boa kind of sucked, but I don't. Oh, we got the bump frame. Look at that thing. That's epic. All right, yeah. So I don't. I never expect an open world Beyblade game as cool as that would be. But oh, we're versing Vault now with this straight. God, I keep getting distracted. I gotta finish my thought. I don't expect an open world Beyblade game because that's like way too much work for a Beyblade game. When you think about it, the Beyblade games are just meant to kind of like sell you or like kind of jump on the Beyblade bandwagon to kind of sell you the Beyblade toys. So I never expect like an open world Beyblade game, but that would be crazy. But I really want like kind of an RPG Beyblade game. That would be amazing. Anyway, so looks like we are going to be battling Vault Ahoy with the Strike God Valkyrie Ultimate Reboot. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. All right, Vault, it's time to get destroyed. Vault is actually the champion. At the end of God, he is, he won the national tournament, so apparently he's the strongest blader in God, so let's see if we can beat him. We've been crushing all the other, all the other bladers. We crushed Shu, we crushed Boa, and now it's time to crush Vault with his strike god Valkyrie. I don't know why I can't talk. Sorry guys. All right, let's get this started. Um, should we should we do a tilt and launch or should we just go um stamina? Let's just go stamina this time. Like why not? All right, ready? Three, two, one, go! Shoot! All right, that's a decent launch. Let's go. Let's go. All right, Vault, it's time to die. Oh my gosh, even Vault's artwork in this game looks great. All the artwork in this game looks amazing. I love it. I'm in love with all of it. All right, go. Oh, is he using his reboot driver right now? That is crazy. Oh my gosh. I might. All right, so maybe like in an upcoming video, I might use. Uh, I might instead. Oh, look at look at Vault with his aura. It looks great. Did he? Just, it, oh, he burst in me. What? Holy moly, I wasn't even paying attention and he bursted me. What is going on? I, we were just crushing everyone's butt and now Vault just comes in and bursts us all of a sudden. I am so confused. I am. I'm so confused. What just happened? I mean, I know I was saying Vault was the best character, but I honestly thought we were going to beat him. He's like crushing us right now. All right, it's time to go serious, guys. No more, no more playing Mr. Nice Guy. We got to get serious here. No more cracking jokes. No more getting off topic. Let's burst this... Beyblade, let's beat Volta Oi, let's crush him. Alright, 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Alright, not the best launch in the world. Again, I I mean, I know I beat the other two, but I'm not that good 
at the pay play burst game. Like honestly, I know I said I put a lot of hours in this game, but I'm I'm horrible at it if I'm being honest. I'm not really that good. All he uses is ultimate reboot. Alright, after alright, maybe in an, the next episode, I might do a whole video on ultimate reboot, because that just looks so sick. Why did that look so awesome? Alright, no no no, we're gonna burst again. We're gonna burst again. We're gonna burst again. Alright, we're gonna use our attack. Hopefully that'll keep us from bursting. Please do not burst me, Volta. Alright. We almost bursted. If you look at our burst meter, we were about to burst, but looks like we were able to pull off a spin finish. Oh my gosh, I'm a little scared, guys. Should we try to win the whole entire match just by spin finishes, or should we go for a burst and just end that and end the thing this round? But like, that's so risky. If we go for a burst, it's so risky. You know what? We're gonna live like Larry. <laughs> We're gonna live like Larry today guys living like Larry. We're gonna go risky We're gonna try to beat Volta Oi in a burst finish in the best way possible. All right three two one go shoot All right, that's a decent one. Let's see if that was enough to beat him. Oh, he goes try hard from the beginning Look at him right. Oh, oh my gosh. Why does it look so great? Oh, okay attack him. There we go other move. Oh my gosh, it looks so great. Did you see his strength god ability? It's awesome. Again, I love how they put like all the Beyblades like special moves and abilities in this game. It's great. All right, let's see if we can um again, let's see if we can burst him. Hopefully, we'll be able to burst him and he won't burst us. Please do not burst us. That would be really bad. I'd I'd like cry and be so sad if he bursted us. Oh, okay, come on, come on. <gasps> all right. Oh, oh, we were so close to bursting him. Oh my gosh, we were so close, but we did win in a spin finish. Should we still try to end it in a burst, guys? Or should we go for, like, an easy spin finish win? You know, going for an easy spin finish win, that's kind of boring. Of course we're going to go for the burst. What am I even saying? Let's go. Let's burst Volta Oi. Let's do a rush launch. Yeah, a ru we'll steal his own uh, launching technique. We'll steal his own special move in a rush launch. Let's destroy this guy. Again, he starts off with a special move. That's great. All right, look at Valkyrie glow with that, like, uh, kind of... um. Rainbow Aura. Look at that collision. That looks so great. I love the graphics in this game. It looks so good. I'm almost about to. I'm not crying, but I'm almost about to cry. It looks, it looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Look at him using his uh, ultimate reboot tip. We definitely have to do a video about that in the future. Ultimate reboot uh, on Spriggan Requiem. Or like. Alright, so it looks like we weren't able to burst him. But yeah, we definitely have to do an ultimate reboot video uh, in the future just because ultimate reboot in this game looks amazing and we were able to beat vault sadly no burst finishes but you don't need burst finishes because we just destroyed him anyway so yeah i think that's about where we're going to end the video yeah oh my gosh that looks so great i love how you can move your beyblade around um yeah i think we're gonna end the video right there guys also actually before i end the video let me just flex real quick guys look at this guys i have the dual layer series. I have the god layer series and I have the chosen layer series. I have all three series. Again, been grinding this game 10 plus hours. Honestly, actually, I feel like for the majority of the time, for like five, five hours plus, I wasn't even playing the actual Beyblade game. For the more majority of the time, I wasn't even doing battles. I was, for the majority of the time, I was kind of just looking at the Beyblade's like digital models just because I thought they were looked so cool like look at these models they look great i was just so i was just so blown back that they put like every single beyblade part in every single yeah every single beyblade part gave it a digital model and they look so nice like look at spriggan's digital model it just looks so great so i feel like i spent like most of my time playing this game just looking at the digital models rather than actually playing the battle uh, simulator game that you're supposed to actually play and enjoy the game. I think I enjoy just looking at the digital models more. Anyway, so yeah, that's probably why I suck at the game. So yeah, that's where we're gonna end off the episode today. If you want to see more Beyblade Burst Battle Zero gameplay or apps or whatever or more battles, leave a like, leave a comment, and yeah, see you guys later. Have a nice day. Left Burst out.